uh, Carl Kent. I'm exploring the images uh, taken back in 1904-1903 of St. Louis World's Fair area. Uh, this picture we're looking at right now is of Teddy Roosevelt coming up in a horse carriage uh, in front of Washington University. These are the stairs to go up to the main building at Wash U uh, coming down this way. And uh, come over here, I can zoom in on Teddy. There he is right there in the carriage. This is uh, the governor of Missouri, David R. Francis, and other dignitaries. So here is the President of the United States. And if you want to go to Wash U and stand on the exact spot where he was uh, in his buggy, you just have to come down the main steps of Washington University, stand right about 15 feet off here, and you'll be standing in the same place that he was in that carriage. I'm going to go through some uh, other images of Roosevelt. Uh, what I'm using is this search engine, Digital St. Louis, and I've typed in, um, you can see the URL up here, and I've typed in the word Roosevelt and came up with a bunch of different images that we can explore. This is the one here that we were looking at just a moment ago. I'm going to curse her down here a little bit. And here is a picture of former President Grover Cleveland, uh, Theodore Roosevelt, David R. Francis, uh, Governor of Missouri, um, and it's Dedication Day, and they're standing together in a doorway. So this is the link you click on to bring that picture up. And as we wait for it to come up, you can tell that I've got a bunch of tabs open. These are all different pictures we're going to look at that I've already searched for. Um, and so here is uh, President Roosevelt, uh, Grover Cleveland, and David R. Francis. Now, it doesn't tell me what doorway this uh, picture was taken in, but it's likely that it was uh, Governor Francis' home, which is over in the corner of, um, it's on Maryland Avenue, over near, the, behind the cathedral, uh, St. Louis Cathedral. It was purchased, I believe, by the uh, Roman Catholic Church after he sold it, and it is used as a sort of school right now. Um, but I think that's where it was, here in the central west end of St. Louis. I'm going to zoom in on this picture so you can see their faces a lot more clearly. Very common mustaches back in those days for men to wear, and top hats, of course, as well. It's interesting, if you click here, you can see there's somebody looking out, don't know who he is, and they've got a guard over here that's kind of watching out uh, over the whole situation. Let's take a look at some of the other pictures I've already um, zoomed in on, that one we just looked at. Here's another one, in the bandstand, I mean the reviewing stand, um, this is Teddy Roosevelt here, and... This one is kind of hard to see where he is, but if you click on the people, you can see they're all looking over this way. And uh, it's a little bit dark over this way, but uh, I tried to see if I could see the president, but the uh, photographer didn't have good exposure in this area. I imagine it's one of these top-headed figures right there. Let's go on to the next picture here. And there he is there speaking, um, but uh, again, the uh, image is a little bit washed out. This is David R. Francis here, I believe. If I zoom in a little bit. Yeah. Um, so the next picture. And uh, again, a little bit washed out, but we can um, kind of see that um, Teddy Roosevelt, if we move this, um, is kind of reviewing the troops, you might say, on dedication day. Come over this way a little bit. There is the president right there um, as he uh, is reviewing the troops. We'll come over to the next uh, picture. Again, another washed out image. Um, I believe this is in the Palace of Liberal Arts on the fairgrounds. And this is President Roosevelt, Governor Francis. And here we are uh, in the reviewing stand again. This is the president. His hat is off. And paying his respect uh, to the uh, troops that are coming along. We'll zoom in, take a look at the president there, here in St. Louis. And our next picture, again in the Palace of Liberal Arts. And this is the president delivering a speech there on dedication day of the 1904 World's Fair. 
opening day. Now this is an interesting picture. This is a riverfront in St. Louis and Teddy Roosevelt came on a riverboat. He got off the riverboat and um, came here to uh, St. Louis. Not sure from where. Kind of zoom in a little bit on that. You can see it's a little bit grainy. It's a photograph of a photograph, so it was probably in the newspaper. There's Eads Bridge over here. We take a look at the next image here. Again, the riverfront. This is a pretty uh, graphical view of it. And our next picture uh, is interesting. This is not at the World's Fair. This is President Roosevelt, and it looks like he is on uh, the Wright Brothers' airplane uh, exploring it. This must have been Oliver Wilbur Wright, I think. Let me zoom in a little bit. Some of you know what Oliver Wilbur looks like, might recognize him there. I don't see any annotations on this picture to say exactly who it was. Um, let's go on to the next image. Teddy Roosevelt on the, on the boat arriving in St. Louis, waving his hat uh, to the crowds. And we'll go on to our next picture here. There he is again in uh, uh, liberal arts, giving his speech. Um, and uh, here he is uh, with Governor Francis. In the reviewing stand, this is the president and uh, governor of Missouri, who was instrumental in getting the World's Fair together. Another picture of our President Roosevelt and uh, I guess some of his bodyguards here. Take a look at the next uh, picture. It's president. And you can scroll around, take a look at. Maybe some of the other people that were there. Really, not too many that we can recognize. And uh, again, uh, this is the president kind of leaning over and talking to someone, Candy Chat. Here he is, maybe sneezing, not sure. <laughs> or taking his hat off, maybe. Probably was doing that. And again, the reviewing stand and the president somewhere in there. There he is over here. Talking to a, looks like a military man. Again, their hats are off. This could have been where the president was arriving, because I don't see him in the stands at this point. Uh, we zoom in and see David R. Francis, no president. So it could be where he was arriving to uh, take his place there in the reviewing stand from downtown St. Louis. And uh, here uh, we see the uh, governor, looks like an archbishop or a cardinal or someone there. Um, and this probably is the president over here waiting to speak. And a little consultation going on there between the governor and the president. Governor Francis was later appointed as the ambassador to Russia. And during the Russian Revolution, he um, actually um, was um, having to defend it. He had a pistol in his hand when the revolution took place, and then he came back to the United States. These are just some pictures of the actual fair itself. Let's go back to the search engine here on the um, website for the, um, the library. And we can see here, if we scroll down, there are some other hits that I have that I haven't really looked at. Here's President Roosevelt leaving the mansion of President Francis on dedication day. Let's take a look at that picture. And this mansion, again, um, here's the carriage coming out, a little bit um, rough in a way, a little bit too much contrast, but uh, this is right on the corner, this is uh, Maryland, it's coming down here, I forget what the name of the street is, it comes this way, but his mansion is back there, and these gates are still there, basically the same, um, same gates. Come back to our search engine. Uh, here's the dignitaries. We've kind of already seen that. Let's kind of
kind of move down a little bit and see what else we got. President Roosevelt, the viewing stand, the reviewing stand, the banquet room in the Hall of Congress. Teddy Roosevelt was going to eat there. Uh, we'll go on to the next number of hits here and see what else we have. Two Japanese women with, uh, looks like Miss Alice Roosevelt is their daughter of the president. Let's take a look at that one. See, the daughter of President Roosevelt. Um, I don't see the daughter anywhere. But she's back up here, which she might be. Not a very good picture of her, but this is in the Japanese exhibit. I'm voting for president. Um, not sure what that's all about. Photographs of two candidates, Teddy Roosevelt and Alton Parker. This doesn't look like it's the right matchup in their database. Visitors are strictly forbidden to enter this house. This is more of a picture of the Igorotes who came from the Philippines. So we've got some database issues here on this particular picture, it looks like to me. Uh, let's go down again. Review of troops, President Roosevelt in the stands. Take a look at this one. See if this one's, oh yeah. So, somewhere in here, the president is uh, reviewing the troops. Not sure where that would be, but this is in front of Palace of Liberal Arts. You can see up here. <coughs> okay, uh, secretary staff, a Taft, delivering an address. Um, going to uh, <coughs> that, whoops. Clicked the wrong place here. Let me go back again. Yeah, when you're exploring a database, I just made the error of clicking up here. But this really is the link for the um, actual uh, image. Um, so if you click there, this I think is David R. Francis. Yes, and here he is giving the uh, opening speech for the dedication. Let's take a look at this monument while we're here. What? Look at all the statuary. All of this is called staff. It's a plaster of Paris uh, conglomerate with horsehair. Looks pretty good, but couldn't last the winter. All right, let's go back um, and see what else we got with regard to the president. That's kind of what I was hoping to find. Opening day, Secretary Staff uh, Taft, and then the war memorial. So it looks like we're kind of getting out. There's a Philippine scout band passing review stand, and Teddy Roosevelt was reviewing the march. Let's take a look at that. See if we can see the president there. And again, it's kind of difficult to know where the reviewing stand is here. Okay, well, you get the idea. This is how you can explore um, a, a theme or a topic through the... Uh, uh, the uh, glass negatives and the digitized pictures that are online at the St. Louis Public uh, Library website. Looks like I've kind of hit all the Roosevelt ones, so I'm going to turn